Now, what what types of evidence are there? Because you kind of mentioned a few of them. Like there are specific kinds of evidence, and you know, I always thought it was like you know, circumstantial and physical. Those are the two that I know of from watching shows. Mm -hmm. What other kind of evidence is there? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, I mean, you have physical evidence and you can break that into trace evidence, biological evidence, impression evidence, you what's know, an, what's, somebody, impression, what's impression, impression evidence? is like you, oh. you walk through footprint. sand and footprint. Yeah. Right. Or somebody, you know, hits a hammer through your drywall. That's an impression. Um, sure. And then you have direct evidence, which is really your video feeds, your, fo your photos, anything uh, witness, eyewitness testimony, anything that directly shows that thing going on um which we have so much of that now i mean well uh, it's big brother it's 1984 yeah. i mean everybody's watching everything but so yeah. so in the rodney king uh court case that video that the guy took of the beating would be considered uh what kind of evidence direct evidence that's direct evidence direct evidence which yeah. which meant which meant nothing at the time i know <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other it's it's not it's your job to it's not your job it's, it's not yeah it's not your job to judge the evidence you just have to present the evidence exactly. <laughs> forensics is science applied to the law all we have to do is apply the science and then the legal system hopefully takes care of the rest <laughs> all right so what other kind of evidences are there uh so we did um we did direct we did physical um and then there's then circumstantial okay which is really the gray area of evidence and actually where I think story can live mm -hmm. very nicely. Okay. Um, because, and it hasn't, I don't, have you seen seven seconds? It's a, a, a show on, on Netflix. It's a, a limited series mm -hmm. on Netflix. It's a crime, um, a crime series mm -hmm. set in New York city. So much circumstantial evidence. So it's all about, you look at what happened and you try to piece together like a dotted line. So it's like if somebody broke into your studio, you weren't there. And or let's say, you no, let's say you leave your studio. Everything's perfect the way it is. You got your nice stools and your, your pillows. Yoda. And, and my Yoda. Yes, yeah. Yoda. Everything's perfect, right? Your <laughs> pictures. You leave for two hours, go to the Trader Joe's. You come back. Your stools are tossed across the room. Your pictures are off the wall and broken. Your Yodas are all smashed up or maybe missing. Maybe mm -hmm. your Yodas are missing mm -hmm. and your equipment's missing. What can you assume happened while you right. were gone? Uh, that someone broke in. And generally speaking, someone broke in and was searching for something or actually there was some theft involved. That's one case scenario. Another case scenario is an ex-girlfriend from 30 years ago has found me yes. and just wants to ruin my life. Exactly. Um, I, I don't have <laughs> one of those, but just, you know, so for this case, right. for the state, for the state of the, <laughs> of the podcast. Um, three, uh, my uncle came home and he was drunk. Like there's a, I mean, I don't have a drunk uncle, but that's another. So, so there's many scenarios, yes. but the first place you go to was foul play or someone tried to break in and right. steal. Right. Right. I mean, another option is you got drugged, you came home and you did it yourself and then you woke up and I mean, there's so many, there's, so, thousands. But there's thousands of great story options. But the point is you look at what happened and you say, what are the circumstances that are possible in Oof. here? And then it's you brutal. start to talk to people like, okay, so did you have an ex-girlfriend? Did you have a drunk uncle? You know, did somebody drug your drink while you were in the Trader Joe's? I mean, all these My things. little coffee, the little coffee. You, exactly. The, 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 that free coffee you get at Trader Joe's. It that's... really wasn't creamer. <laughs> <laughs> brutal, brutal. I'll never drink Trader Joe's coffee again. <laughs> what is in the agave syrup? <laughs> so. We're writing shows right here as we exactly. speak. We're literally writing shows. The Trader the Joe's Trader shows. It was murder. Yeah, the Trader Joe's. Jeez, that's oh, insane. Dear. So yeah, so circumstantial is um, where you're, you're looking at the things that happen and trying to piece together a dotted line that leads to the truth. And so. that's, but that's basically why there's so much of that in, in cinema and in television uh, because of, and, in, and even also in, in uh, novels and things like that, because that's where yeah. it's a gray area. So you really, area. like literally we just, you threw yeah. a scenario, I threw out three possible scenarios right. and you yeah. could have started to, and we could have literally had 20 or 30 
Yeah. Oh, it's the ex-girlfriend. Oh, it was the daughter. Oh, it was the <laughs> butler that did it in the right. uh, with the candlestick. The candlestick. The, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's so many. Th- but then forensics would come into that scenario, and then like, okay, let's see what evidence has been left behind. So maybe, mm-hmm. uh, maybe there's some blood left over, or some sweat, or right. you know, things like that. From and right. then you and then like, who has access to this place? Oh, okay, well, right. it's this and exactly. that. Exactly. I'm I'm speaking purely from watching shows for the last 20 odd years. That's how I'm even able to even have this conversation with you. It's purely from watching great. S- so many great. of these shows. Just like, well, there's this and there's this option and then this could happen and this. Um, it's funny. Like, but seriously, like you're like a forensic specialist and I'm literally having a conversation. I'm not by any far, by any stretch am I an expert, but at least I could have a conversation with you. Like, oh, well. DNA, oh, it could have been blood, it could have been sweat, it could have been spit, uh, a hair follicle could have yeah. been left behind. Uh, soil from the shoe, maybe somebody's shoe left a piece of yeah, dirt. Yeah, and, wh- and where is that soil? Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it, it's, trans- what is it uh, from, I see Beverly Hills Cop too, like, oh, the, oh yeah. the, the shoes, they have mud on it, where's the mud from? The oil fields, well, he used to jog over at the oil fields, that's where he's at, and all these things, yeah. and this is like literally decades of information that gets flown into your head as a writer yeah. of all these shows and all these experiences that you start throwing in there. It is fascinating, and it's really it is fun. Fascinating. It is fun yeah. to to write this stuff, right? And what you just did with the, I mean, that's okay. That's how we do it. We're storytellers, and and so what you just did with the shoe to the jogging to the oil, that's physical evidence physical mm-hmm. trace evidence and you made a circumstantial jump to the oil fields that's perfect that's that's right. now you're building a trail of evidence that's awesome right.